In this video, we'll learn to recognize and sequence odd and even numbers of 200. Odd. In real life, we come across the word odd in examples like odd socks. And that's what exactly what it means. And even is like the pair. So I've got some socks here. There is one another one so i have two socks with these two socks i can make a pair so number two is even then i have another sock can i make another pair with that no i can't so number three is odd because i could make a pair but there is still one left there is another sock. Now, I've got four socks, but I've made two pairs, so there is no odd sock. There is no sock left, which means that four is an even number because I can make pairs and have no odd socks left. Whereas five is odd because I have a knot sock left. I hope you can see the pattern. So I will write the numbers. So as we said, odd, even. So that's the odd socks and that's the pairs. So when we had just one, one was odd, but two socks made a pair, so there was nothing left. So two is an even number, whereas three was odd again, because we could make a pair, but there was a sock left. And four is even because we can exactly make pairs we can make exactly two pairs and five is odd because we have an odd sock in there now what would happen with six so six would be even because we can make three pairs seven would be odd eight would be even 9 would be odd, 10 would be even. So if you look at these numbers, we start with 1 if you have one sock, that is odd. And then missing 1 to go to 3. So that means you still have an extra sock. And again, they're 7 and 9 as well. Whereas with these, we've got 2 four, six, eight, ten. We've seen these numbers before when we counted in two. And again here you're counting in two as well. But when you have two socks it means you have an even number. So that I hope helps you with the pattern because the same thing continues. So then it would be 11, 13, 15 and so on and here will be 12 14 and so on now let's see what happens with numbers that are bigger than these if you look at the numbers the odd numbers 1 11 3 13 5 15, 7, 17, 9, 19. So the unit is staying the same. So you can now predict what's going to be the next one. So we've finished there. It's going to be 21, 23. So the unit is 
all the time the same so if the unit is odd so will be the whole number so 3 is odd 23 is odd so you just need to look at the unit and why is that the case if you look at 11 for instance so 1 is odd 11 is going to be odd so you can imagine there being socks so 1 sock 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so there are 11 socks but what's going to happen I'm going to make a pair there two three pairs four pairs five pairs so with the 10 in there we make in pairs so we've got them even it's only the extra one that makes it odd same thing would happen with 13 so with 12 you're going to make pairs so there is an extra pair in comparison to 11 and that is just extra so we'll see exactly how that looks like for even numbers as well so you've got two and then you've got four six eight you can see mixed pairs always ten mixed pairs, twelve mixed pairs of course 13 doesn't but 14 will make pairs 16 will make pairs so the same thing as with the odd you look at the two at the four six eight look at the unit yeah so zero two four six eight two four in 16 as well 18 20 22 so if the unit is even the whole number is even and how does that look like in a number grid so i've got a number grid here with numbers from 1 to 100 and as you can see 1 is odd 3 odd 5 7 9 is odd so the blue ones are odd whereas the white ones are even so all these numbers that we saw here 1 3 5 seven nine then we have eleven so in this column we've got numbers ending in one or that the units are one they are odd so are all these ending with three and in ending with five seven or nine so these numbers in the columns that are colored in blue are all odd and the numbers in the columns in white are all even so all we need to do when to find out whether a number is odd or even is to look at the units so let's say i've got number 32 what do i look at it's the unit the number two in itself is even because we can make a pair and we have no socks left so that means number 32 is even let's check it here we've got number 32 and it is even in the white columns let's say number 45 look at the unit that's a five so 5 is odd, so number 45 is odd as well. Let's have a look. We've got 45 and it is odd. So all that you have to do is really look at the last digit. Look at the unit. If the unit is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, then the number is odd. If the unit is 2, 4, 6, 
eight or zero, then the number is even.